Good morning. Today we are in Brooklyn and I am going to take you on a food tour. We're going to try so much food today and see a lot of sights in Brooklyn. I am actually here on a solo trip by myself. Nephew was supposed to come. He was unable to come. So it's just me today. It's kind of exciting and also a little nerve-wracking. So <laughs> there's already been a few mistakes. I went to the wrong hotel. I panicked at my, at my breakfast and ordered oatmeal with my cheesecake. So for breakfast, I went to Junior's Bakery Restaurant, and it's I'm in downtown Brooklyn. It's right around the corner from my hotel, so I thought, you know, why not have cheesecake for breakfast? I might be getting a little old for that, but <laughs> we'll see how I'm feeling later in the day. I also panicked and ordered oatmeal with my cheesecake, because I, for some reason, was embarrassed just ordering cheesecake. If you just want cheesecake, just order the cheesecake. Honestly, the food is pretty expensive. Um, I got oatmeal because I panicked and it was like $9 pretty much for the oatmeal. And a slice of cheesecake is also like $9. Uh, I couldn't even finish the slice, maybe because I had a ginormous bowl of oatmeal that honestly wasn't great, so I wouldn't recommend the oatmeal. There were a lot of other people there eating food though, so I think the food is pretty good. It just was kind of pricey for what I was looking for right now since I'm going to be eating so much food today. All right, we are now going to take uh, the metro and head over to uh, Williamsburg. metro from downtown Brooklyn over to Williamsburg. Taking the metro is super easy now. You can actually just tap your card if you have a tap, you know, credit card to get on all the metros and buses. Williamsburg, I was gonna say that downtown Brooklyn felt very like resident, not residential, but like there's lots of shopping and you could just tell people live there. I think just Brooklyn feels like that. It feels like that here too, that people just live here. Um, stop by kind of a fun antique flea market artist area. Um, it's right next to the park where the food market is. Um, I feel like you'd have to be more at least with the clothing, like more experienced in picking vintage clothes because I was like super overwhelmed by all of it. I just thought it'd be fun to go look around and see what they had and I felt a little overwhelmed. <laughs> but it's a fun stop because it's right next to the park. And in the Marsha P. Johnson State Park on Saturdays they have a food market event called Smorgasbord and they have so many food vendors, like all different types of cuisine that you could even imagine. I would recommend coming in a group. Me coming by myself, I felt like I didn't get to try very many things because I got full really fast. I tried a choripan from a Colombian stand. They were super nice and talked to me and talked to me and I wanted then I was convinced to buy something. It was good. The bread was a little dry, but it was it was good. I really liked the chimichurri sauce that was on it. It was about $14 for it. And then I also tried some dumplings that had a line that were pretty good. Um, nothing I tried here was like spectacular, but I think it'd be really fun to come as a group and just try all these different things. There's so many fun things like juice in the whole fruit, um, this taiyaki that looks like a French bulldog, of all these different skewers, pizzas, all kinds of food that you could try. Everything was around like I'd say minimum was around 12 to $14. There were a few things that were priced cheaper, but most things are around that price and go upward from there. So definitely worth it to come with people and share so you can try a lot of different things. The park in the view here of Manhattan is beautiful. Definitely worth it to come check out the view and it's right next to the ferry terminal. So we're gonna take the ferry terminal um, from North Williamsburg to Dumbo. such a fun ride from it's just two stops from North Williamsburg to Dumbo and it's only four dollars so it's a little bit more than the subway but the views are just way better um, the top 
was very windy. So like I was wearing a dress and that was a bad idea. Outside on the bottom level, it was perfect for me. Although on the inside it was air conditioned. So I know if Nephi was here, he would have been like, I'm staying inside because the AC felt wonderful. Um, but if you still want to like the outside, I would recommend the bottom floor and the back just because up the top gets so windy that my hair was in my face and I couldn't really enjoy it very much. Uh, the ferry drops you off at Dumbo, or at least about you know, the stop you get off at. And then there is the Brooklyn Bridge Park right next door. And it's really pretty, lots of different views of the bridge, of the waterfront, of Manhattan. Um, my, one of my favorite views was actually from Squib, Squib Park Bridge. And it has like a really fun view of Manhattan and lots of greenery. And so that was one of my favorite. You'll see lots of people over by, you know, the waterfront with the Manhattan city view and the Statue of Liberty and all of that. Statue of Liberty is pretty far, so it's kind of hazy, hard to see, but you, you can see it, it's there. I also took a nap in the park because I flew in on the red eye this morning. So I needed a little nap. Um, plus it's like pretty much hundred degrees out with humidity here. So needed a break from the heat and just let, you know, drink some water and take a break. So I'd recommend bringing a blanket or a towel to sit on. Um, very popular here. See lots of people on their blankets and towels having a picnic or just relaxing. So whether, you know, in this park or the Marshall P. Johnson Park with Smorgasbord, having a blanket or a towel would be really beneficial and that's something that I wish I brought. Dumbo is actually an acronym for Down Under Manhattan Bridge Overpass. So of course we are going to go see that famous view of the Manhattan Bridge. If you've seen Brooklyn Nine-Nine, that's like where I recognize it most from. Um, love that show. So we're going to go check it out. to the other side of the Brooklyn Bridge towards the Manhattan Bridge and of course like I mentioned visited that famous view that's actually I feel like all of these views are just so iconic of Brooklyn and it's kind of funny that some of the most iconic sites in Brooklyn are the skyline of Manhattan and the bridges <laughs> so some of the fun little areas to check out include Pebble Beach, um, Bridge Park and John Street Park so those were kind of three parks that I've been checking out along the waterfront and around the Manhattan Bridge. Two of the kind of classic original pizza places here in Brooklyn are Grimaldi's and Giuliana's. Grimaldi's is the original um, and then Patsy Grimaldi sold it and then later opened another one, Giuliana's, which is right next door. They're both delicious from what I've heard. I ate at Giuliana's. I ended up picking there just because it was a little bit cheaper. I got a personal size margarita pizza and Coke. Um, personal size pizza was $17. The toppings seemed pretty pricey if they were like the same price for all the different sizes of pizza. Like it was like $5 or $6 for pepperoni, which on like a large pizza, or, cause they have these huge pizzas, would make sense. But on the personal pizza, it felt like a lot. So I just got a margarita pizza and it was, it was delicious. It was really good. It finally feels like it's starting to cool off. I think cause the clouds are coming in and it's probably gonna rain. So I am gonna have to head back to the hotel soon. And I'm just exhausted. I did not sleep very much on the plane last night. It was only a four hour plane ride anyway. So <laughs> how much can you sleep? Thanks for joining me today on my first solo video and you know, having patience with me as I figured things out. Um, I hope that you found this informative, helps you plan your trip to Brooklyn, gives you some ideas of places to eat and things to see. Uh, I think my top recommendations would definitely be to take the ferry. And of course you have to check out Dumbo. There's just so many iconic sites here. So thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.